To access the pop-up builder, go to Forms, make sure you're in the pop-ups area, and if you have a couple of pop-ups, you can access the builder by clicking Edit. If you don't, just go ahead and create a pop-up over here. Give your pop-up a name. I'm going to call it Builder Demo. Click Save and Continue. Now you need to choose a group so that when people subscribe, the form knows where to put those subscribers. Click Save and Continue. Now we have different pop-up templates you can use here, but don't worry, you can change them around in the builder itself. So go ahead and choose one or filter them through featured pop-ups, full screen pop-ups, slide box pop-ups, and half screen pop-ups. I'm gonna choose this one over here. Now the cool thing about this is that when you are in this builder and decide that maybe the side bar one is not the one you wanted, you can go ahead and change it. You can make it a full screen one. You can have it in the bottom right corner or at the bottom or just a classical pop-up like, like you see here. Now, of course, you don't have to have it at the bottom because we have additional settings here for each pop-up type. So you can have it on the top, for example. If you go with the bottom right, you can change it to the bottom left. If you have the sidebar, you can have it on the left side or on the, on the right side. And some other pop-ups like this one here have additional settings. Like you can't have this classical one on the left or right top or bottom, of course, but you can have like an additional sidebar if you want. Put it on the top, put it on the left. You can add some additional text here if you wish. I'm gonna turn this off and go back to the design settings over here. I'm gonna leave it at this classical pop-up type and just show you what you can do here. Now with each image, what you can do is you will see this little arrow in the bottom right corner and you can make the image smaller or bigger if you wish. And of course, you can change all the design settings over here. So for example, if you want your background to be a little different or if you want an image, well, you can use these, these settings over here. Once you're done, just go ahead and click Save. And if you're using that sidebar, you can also change the sidebar background. And here are all the design settings for the text. So this is heading one, but we can go ahead and change it a bit, make it smaller, undo the bold or, or have it there, change the letter spacing a bit if we wish. Once you're done, just go ahead and click and continue. And to change the text itself, well, you go in here and change the text, for example. Of course, that doesn't make sense. And if you want to change the color of a specific word, you can just highlight it and you'll see this little edit bar here. You can change a lot of things over here. For example, the color of one single word or even one single letter. You can also add a link, insert a link. com, open it in a new tab. I like to always do that. And there you go. You now have a link over here. You can also change the, the format. So you can have heading one, two, three, add some HTML if needed. Create a list, underline it. You need to select what we want to underline, underline the whole thing, use italics if we want, and align it to the left or to the right, or if you want to justify it, we're ready to go. I'm just going to leave it at center as it was. And if you don't like what you created, like this doesn't look too good anymore, we can go over here to this button and we can undo the changes that we made here. And also if we save this pop-up by clicking next over here, we'll be able to see the version history. Now we don't have that now. And since we're up here, we can also go ahead and look at a preview. It looks very similar and the mobile view is here. Once we're done with the preview, we can go ahead and close it. There is also a success message over here. This is what your subscribers will see once they put in their email and click, in this case, get in touch. You'll see the success message, which you can also edit if you click this little edit button. You can change the design colors, heading, etc., etc. For example, if you want to make it a little grayish, click save. And you can use this little plus button here or here to add additional blocks. So let's use this little plus button here. Let's add some text. You can start writing here. And you can change things around here, of course, as usual. Then you can add more types of blocks if you want. For example, you can add a divider. 
you can add a counter, you can add an image and content or just an image by itself. Let's just click this image. Let's go ahead and click this image here. I can go ahead and select this one here. Make it a little smaller. And save once I'm done. Of course, this doesn't look too good. This is just a demo, but I just wanted to show you some of the different options you have for this. Now let's go back to the pop-up here. We're back at the pop-up. Let's get rid of this text. And let's look at some of the other settings we have here. We have the sign up form settings. So we can add something like a privacy policy if we want. To edit the privacy policy, just click this little edit button here. And you can, for example, add a link to your privacy policy by using this link here. Insert link. Open a new tab and click insert. And there is that link if we need it. Click save. Then we have confirmation checkboxes. If we need that for some reason, hidden segmentation fields. So you can add some, in, some information to the database of your subscribers based on this custom field feature over here. So for example, you can choose a field. I created a custom field called pet. I can have dog. So if you have a pet store and you have an article about dogs and you have this pop-up about dogs on that article, in that, or in that article, well, people who subscribe here will get this information added to the field in their specific profile in your database. Without, of course, they won't see this. You will, you will just be adding this data to anyone who subscribes through this form on your page. Then we have the marketing permission fields. We don't need to use these checkboxes over here if we state why what people will get once they subscribe. For example, uh, by subscribing, you will receive email updates and, and some offers. Uh, that should be enough. If you want to use multiple marketing channels, and you want to get permission for that, that's when you have to start using these checkboxes here. Then we have interested interest groups. Here people can choose which group they want to sign up to. And then we have the reCAPTCHA. This is for situations where you notice that you have these weird email addresses subscribing and you're thinking that maybe these are some bots going through the internet trying to subscribe through different forms. And if you want to make sure it's a human who is subscribing, well, you have this option over here. Now let's clean this up a little. We're just gonna leave, leave the interest groups and there's one interest group. If we wanna add more, we just use this little button over here, add dog lovers. There we go. Now the subscribers can choose which interest group they want to subscribe to. And we can also align this to the right, to the center, and to the left if needed. But if we don't want the subscribers to choose, well, we just uncheck this, and then they will go to that weekly newsletter group we already selected when once creating this form. Then we have these additional settings that I already showed you that, you know, if we want a sidebar or if you want to change the form, have it on the bottom or on the top. In the case of this bar, you also can have it remain at the top while it's scrolling. But let's go back here again. Let's take away the sidebar. And let's go ahead and look at the blocks here. These are the same blocks I showed you just a moment ago in the success area, right? But here you can drag and drop it. Drag and drop them. Of course, you can also add them by using these buttons. So we can add another text block. First block. Second block. And again, we have this bar for editing the text if we want. And we have other things like images, image and content. It allows you to image, to add an image on the left side and then write your content on the right side. Of course, each one of these blocks also has additional settings. In this case, you can have an, a video instead of an image. You can have the media position on the right side and you can have the alignment of the text on the top, middle or bottom. Also, you can have the ratio of the text and the media to be equal or the size of the text or the media or the ratio is connected with the media. In this case, the media is the largest part. 
In this case, the text is. In this case, they're equal. Of course, we would need more text and we would need a real image to see how this exactly works. And of course, with the image here, you can make it smaller if you wish. I'm gonna delete this block. And besides deleting it, you can also copy the block, duplicate it, and go into the edit settings. You can also drag and drop it wherever you want or use these arrows for that situation. So let's delete this image. Now let's go ahead and delete the block. And again, now let's edit here, click image. And you can look for beautiful images using Unsplash. Well, let's use this one over here actually. Once it's loaded, just go ahead and select. And there you go. Now, if the image is smaller, you can have it go to the left, to the right, to the center. And once you click Save and Design, Design Settings, you can go ahead and change the other parts of the form so they are better suited for this image. For example, you want to make it more orange, make the image bigger. You can have the width of the form change a little bit a little smaller like this, change the color of the background to make it look a little better with this new image here. There we go. Change the border radius of the form, click Save. And now if we want to add a name instead of an email, well, we just use this edit button here, click this field, add field, and there we go. Now, since we have two fields, it wouldn't look too good if they would be horizontally aligned. So that's why we have this vertical version. And you can change it over here, form alignment, it's vertical, you can have it hor horizontal, but it doesn't look too good. So just go back to vertical. And you will not see this option if you only have one field over here. So if you're looking for that, you won't find it. So here is our new form. And if you want to change things even more with this image, just go ahead and click it, use our third party editor. And here you have different options for this. You can transform it here. You can use one of these presets or just drag and drop here. Just drag it, use the blue button once you're finished and click save. Then we just need to wait a little sometimes. And there we go. And if we didn't like that, again, history, recent changes, undo. Once we're done, you can go ahead and click Save. Go back to the blocks again. And I just wanted to show you these other blocks here, how they look, the divider. And with these blocks, like I said, every single block has a different setting. So this is the social icon blocks. If you add new blocks, add new icons, they will add automatically and you can look for more over here. So you can use the search feature or just find it by scrolling. You can delete the ones you don't like. And then with the settings, you can change things like you only want outline circles. You want it to be square. You want it to be colorful. You want it to be aligned to the left, for example, for some reason. Let's go back to center. Let's go back to circle. Let's drag and drop them to the to, to the bottom here. And let's get rid of this timer. There we go. Now, I know this design might not be breathtaking, but I just did this really quickly to show you the different options you have in the pop-up builder. I hope this has been helpful. Have a wonderful day. And as usual, I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.